The Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus is currently the cheapest smartphone on the planet that supports 120 watt fast wired charging. But how does it stack up in this charging speed test against its Xiaomi cousins, the Xiaomi 11T Pro and Xiaomi Mix 4, which are also capable of 120 watt charging. The Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus houses a 4,500 mAh battery cell and supports 120 watt charging. And yes, the massive 120 watt brick comes bundled in the box. The Xiaomi 11T Pro has the largest battery of the the three phones at a whopping 5000 milliamps and is also capable of 120 watt charging and yes its 120 watt brick is also included in its box. Lastly the Xiaomi Mix 4 has the same sized battery capacity as the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus at 4500 milliamps and also supports 120 watt charging which is of course also bundled in the box. Today is all about the Xiaomi charging master race thanks to all three devices supporting 120 watts at 20 volts and 6 amps but which one will come out on top? This is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's find out. Before we get things going, it is worth checking out the temperature of each device before popping them on charge. This is pretty much room temperature since all devices have been sitting idle for a while now at around 23-24 degrees in Celsius. I have made sure to disable all forms of optimized charging which is actually only available on the Mix 4 and I have enabled boost charging speed which is only available on the Note 11 Pro Plus and the Mix 4. I have also turned on the always on display but for some reason the Redmi device doesn't always have its always on display on so I have to tap to show. After five minutes, we have 40% on the Redmi, 27% on the 11T Pro, and 40% on the Mix 4. So the Redmi and the Mix 4 are sitting neck and neck right now with the coolest being the phone in the middle, that being the 11T Pro, and the warmest being the phone on the right, that being the Mix 4. The two phones on the outer skirts are doing a hell of a lot better than the 11T Pro so far, especially after 10 minutes here with 72% on the Redmi, now taking the lead over the Mix 4 is 71% and 54% on the 11T Pro. But you gotta remember that the 11T Pro does have a bit of a bigger battery than the other two at 5,000 milliamps instead of 4,500 milliamps. And after that 15 minute mark interval, we have 92% on the Note 11 Pro Plus, 87% on the Mix 4, which is slowed down quite a bit near the end over here, and 77% on the Xiaomi 11T Pro. The Xiaomi 11T Pro is still the coolest in the last interval and the last peak with the Mix 4 being the hottest. And after 18 minutes, the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus clocks out over here. Absolutely phenomenal. Zero to 100% in 18 minutes is great, ending off with a temperature of 46.1 degrees in Celsius. After the 20 minute mark interval, we have 96% on the 11T Pro, which is really caught up to the Mix 4s and 99% now. And the Mix 4 is actually the coolest phone in that interval where the 11T Pro was the hottest, but the 11T Pro is still the coolest in its overall peak. The Mix 4 actually capped out second over here with 21 minutes, which is still great. Zero to 100% filling up that 4,500 milliamp hour battery cell, but filling up that 5,000 milliamp hour battery cell in the 11T Pro did an even better job Though it was a minute slower than the Mix 4, at 22 minutes it still did a better job in my eyes since it has a bigger battery. And if we take a look at the bottom of the screen, the best previous test results, the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus did it in 17 minutes before, which is the best time that I've gotten it, did it in 18 minutes now, so it's pretty consistent. The best for the 11T Pro in the middle was 18 minutes, and this time it was 22 minutes, so a tad slower this time around. And the best for the Mix 4, also pretty consistent, at 19 minutes last time out, as opposed to 21 minutes this time. In third place, we have the Xiaomi 11 T Pro and though it only gets third place over here it still did 0 to 100% in 22 minutes which is unheard of 5000 milliamp hour battery biggest of the lot here 120 watt charging also 120 watt charging is the Mix 4 placing second here with 21 minutes a smaller battery than the phone before it though at 4500 milliamps same size battery cell as the Mix 4 is the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus at 4500 milliamps same 120 watt charging placing first here with a crazy score of 18 minutes now when it comes to temperature the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus actually ended off the hottest since it finished so quickly it didn't really give itself enough room to cool down whereas the mix 4 took a bit longer but started cooling things down but bear in mind that's only pretty much a degree in celsius but that was indeed the coolest at the end when it comes to peak that is the hottest temperature it actually reached throughout the test the mix 4 was actually the hottest here and the 11t pro was the coolest and if you take a look at the center of the screen when you look at the milliamp hour per minute charge we have the highest being all the way on the left with the redmi note 11 pro plus 250 milliamp hours per minute from zero to 100 percent that is 
the worst was the Mix 4 with 214.29 and even though it placed second it was the worst in terms of charging rate because the phone in the middle, the 11T Pro, actually has a bigger battery getting a milliamp hour permanent reading of 227.27. And if we take a look at the bottom of the screen, the first 50% on the Redmi and the Mix 4 were the same, doing it from 0 to 50% in just 7 minutes which is ridiculous so they received the same milliamp hour permanent reading whereas the 11T Pro in the middle only did it in 9 minutes but only did it I mean come on guys 9 minutes is still ridiculously fast to get from 0 to 50% and the first 80% of them of course the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus did it the quickest with 12 minutes as opposed to 13 minutes on the Xiaomi Mix 4 and 16 minutes on the 11T Pro so I guess it's safe to say that the two devices on the right started to slow down quite a bit after the 80% mark whereas the phone on the left that being the redmi note 11 pro plus kept pretty consistent throughout the test i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i did making it this is tech neck and i'll catch you in the next one